Through at 10, we're learning more about the background of the concrete truck driver charged in last month's deadly school bus crash in Bastrop County. Court records obtained by CBS Austin revealed Jerry Hernandez was hired by FJM Concrete without being properly vetted. CBS Austin's Abigail Velez spent the day reviewing these court documents and learned Hernandez previously failed multiple drug tests. They're negligent, completely negligent. I think they're liable for any damages. CBS Austin obtained court records showing Jerry Hernandez's employer, FJM Concrete, failed to properly vet him before his hiring. Hernandez was driving the cement pump truck that hit a Hayes CISD school bus and a following car in Bastrop County on March 22nd. The crash left two people dead. I never heard of any kind of leniency like that. Not on that. You could have a criminal history. People make mistakes. But as for the, the drug thing, no. Court records show in 2020, 2020, Hernandez was issued a drug test by a previous employer for reasonable suspicion. He refused to take it. Two years later, a drug test revealed marijuana in his system. And just a year later in 2023, he tested positive for cocaine. That's what the clearinghouse is for. It automatically saves everybody's, saves all your info for everything. Any drug test, every drug test that you've ever taken is on there. Robert Garza is a cement pump truck driver here in Texas. He says the federal database clearinghouse is what his employer uses to keep track of drug tests he's been issued while on the job. Lieutenant Daniel Martinez with the Texas Department of Public Safety says companies are required to use Clearinghouse when hiring new drivers. They're required to do pre-employment checks when they hire a new driver just to see if there's anything negative in the Clearinghouse. Records reveal FJM Concrete owner Frank Martinez did not verify Hernandez's driving status on Clearinghouse before hiring him. That means his employer was unaware of his drug history and the fact that he was listed as a prohibited driver on the database for for failing multiple drug tests in the past. If they had that prohibited status, they would be able to see that. That doesn't uh, keep the driver from re being employed. That's uh, completely up to the carrier. Uh, what the carrier can decide to do is they can hire him, but uh, they wouldn't be putting him in a driver capacity. In this case, FJM Concrete still hired and employed Hernandez as a driver. Hernandez's arrest affidavit states his actions on the afternoon of March 22nd resulted in the deaths of five-year-old Ulises Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace. Hernandez is now charged with criminally negligent homicide. Reporting in Austin, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News.